right, oil pressure gauge set up. As you can see, it's currently reading. For this pod, whenever you replace it, you lift up on this corner and it'll allow you to pop it out. There's basically several clips there along the side here. Once you do that, this thing can be kind of tricky to assemble. It just basically slides in and then in the corner, you drill out a hole so you can route the wiring. Once you do that, wiring pretty much goes down through here. You can ground it in here using add a tap fuse into the fuse box. And then all the way down at the base right there, you can run your lines. So I have a boost line reference for my analog boost setup. And then I have my wiring harness for the sensor going through there. And then if you come around through here, might be a little windy over here. Pull your battery and down in that area, the wire comes out. From here, I have the wire extended, riding through here. It comes down through here and down into this section here. This is the factory line. And then I have my sensor line here. And then down in here, you can see the oil sensors. Let me turn this off so you can hear a little better. All right, so originally what you have is these cables here, these are factory. I actually kind of cut the teasel tape a little bit so I can get a little bit more play. This is an adapter, you can get this from eBay. Uh, so what you need is a M10 by 1.0 adapter size fitting for here. This has two ports. They do make a three port version. That's 1 8 NPT. I recommend that you get a three port one. Uh, comes with the provided plugs that are needed as well. Uh, that makes things a little bit easier when it comes to trying to position your sensor. So uh, that's the AEM sensor right on top. I have it kind of tucked away in this little pocket here. So this port originally is the brown sensor, which is over there. That brown sensor is actually the temperature sensor, that one. And I originally had the temperature sensor plugged into the end here. This is actually a pressure sensor. And um, I changed the setup. I put the temperature sensor into the pressure sensor port, particularly because uh, after thinking about it, this kind of deadheads. And so there's not a lot of flow that necessarily gets to that temperature sensor. So I wanted that more to be involved with the oil flow process to get accurate temperature readings. Uh, whereas on here, it's okay to have a pressure sensor that kind of deadheads. So I didn't have to manipulate the factory harness. Uh, after you cut that little slit in the teasel, teasel tape, it allows the split just enough in order for you to reach it. And then from there, you can plug in your OEM sensors uh, and then you're pretty much good to go. No oil leaks, nothing like that. Uh, very easy to get to. That's a 24 mil. This is a 24 mil. Um, and then uh, I want to say this is a 9, 22 mil. And then this adapter fitting here is a 19 mil. Uh, so those are kind of the things that you'll need. Um, you're going to want to get a... Uh, a... Uh, wobble extension this will make things way easier and believe it or not you can reach all of these sensors without having to move anything uh, I have my catch can here and I didn't have to manipulate anything or change anything like that all of that stayed in place and I was able to install all this by hand uh, so that's pretty much the gist of it uh, no problems easy to do and you can get actual oil pressure instead of oil temperature all right that's it